Okay. All right, so it is 10 a.m. Go ahead and get started. Whenever you're ready, start to make your way to your mat. And find a child's pose. And find a child's pose. And then just around. And then just around. I can hear myself. Uh, go ahead and put yourself on mute. Okay. Thank you. So I am going to take part of the class with you, and then sometimes we'll sort of filter back up to the camera. But just go ahead and drop into your practice, blinking your eyes closed, getting grounded on the four corners of your mat. And we're going to do a lot of heart openers today. So with that in mind, think about where you can sort of give compassion, whether that's to yourself or maybe those around you, how you can kind of open. Hi, Noel. And just start to come into your breath. So take a deep breath in through your nose and take a deep exhale out through your mouth. One more time, deep breath in and a deep exhale out. Now start to bring your palms together, bend through your elbows and place your thumbs to the back of your neck. So you'll feel a big um, tricep stretch here. Maybe some more opening in your upper back. Start to seal your lips together. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And a deep exhale out through your nose. So for those of you that came in, I do have my playlist in the chat. Feel free to follow along with me. But really send your breath to your side bodies, your upper back. Maybe even to your hips. From the tricep stretch, extend your arms out long. Plant your palms down onto the floor, widen through your fingertips. I'm starting our playlist. As you push yourself up into a tabletop position, stack your palms, your wrists directly underneath your shoulders, knees directly underneath your hips, and find a nice flat spine. Inhale, cow pose, drop your belly. Pull your heart space forward, gaze up at the ceiling, and squeeze your shoulder blades together. Exhale, cat pose, push your mat away. Round through your spine. Tuck your chin into your chest to gaze at your belly button. Press the tops of your feet, inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat. One more time, inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale to a nice neutral tabletop position and find bird dog. So extend your right fingertips forward and extend your left leg straight behind you. Create a really flat spine, rotate all five toes to face down toward your mat. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, squeeze elbow to knee. Find that cat like position in your upper body. Really find the elbow to knee connection. Two more times. Inhale to lengthen. Use your breath. Exhale, elbow to knee. Last time. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen out as far as you can. Exhale to your tabletop position. Bird dog on the other side. Extend your left fingertips forward. Send your right leg toward the back of your room. Square up your hips and slide your shoulder down your back. Engage your core, deep breath in. Exhale, squeeze elbow to knee. Really press the L shape of your right palm, top of your left foot. Two more times, inhale to lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Last time, inhale to lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen out as far as you can. Exhale to your tabletop. <clears throat> Excuse me, walk your hands for about two inches. Take a deep breath in, tuck your toes under. Exhale, downward facing dog. Send your hips up and back. Start to pedal out your legs. Sending your breath to your hamstrings now. Send your tailbone up toward the ceiling. Really rotate your biceps forward. Knit your rib cage in. Deep breath in, lift your heels up as high as you can. On your exhale, ground your heels even deeper down into the floor. Inhale, gaze forward. On your exhale, take tiny steps up to round doll pose. Plant your feet hip width distance apart. Grab for opposite elbows. Let your torso hang heavy over your waist. You can sway your upper body side to side. Shake out your head yes, shake out your head no. Always ending on yes for positive measure. Deep breath in. On your exhale, release your fingertips down to your mat. Toe heel your big toes to touch. Keep an inch of space between your heels. Inhale, halfway lift to lengthen. Tabletop sensation in your upper body. Shift your weight to the ball mounds of your feet. Squeeze your shoulder blades together and pull your chin away from your chest. Exhale, forward fold to deepen. Inhale, rise, mountain pose, sasana. Ground down through your feet. Engage through your legs. Reach your fingertips straight up toward the ceiling. 
Now slide your shoulders down your back, rotate your pinkies inward, take a deep breath in. Exhale, lift it back, bend, cap is your arms. Squeeze the tips of your shoulder blades together to create a shelf for your heart. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Inhale, rise, mountain pose, Dawson. Exhale, chair plane, sit deep into your chair. As you sweep your arms toward the back of the room, now shift your weight, the heels of your feet stay lightened on 10 toes. Squeeze your shoulder blades together to pull your chest forward, then lengthen through the back line of your neck. Inhale, chair. Biceps hug your ears. Sink a little bit deeper into your legs. Really pull your belly button into your spine so lower belly lifts off of your upper thighs. Deep inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Hands come to your heart center, hinge at your hips. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low plank, chaturanga. I'm skipping today. But bring your elbows right by your side bodies, chin away from your chest. Inhale, upward facing dog. Legs stay engaged, pull your heart up and through. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breath to movement, deep breath in. Exhale out. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step or float, top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, Tadasana, stand up nice and tall. Exhale, lifted back bend. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, chair plane. Really feel your triceps turn on. You can lift up nice and high. Inhale, chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. You always have the option to skip, modify, up level your chaturanga at any point. Up dog, deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more time, inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, lift it back, bend a little bit deeper this time. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, chair plank. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Really ground your heels down into the floor. Draw your tailbone up. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step or float top of your mat. Inhale, half a lift. Exhale, forward fold. Chair pose, take a deep breath in. You've already been here before. Now start to sink a little bit deeper. Really squeeze your inner thighs together. Keep your knees and your hips in line with one another. Deep inhale. On your exhale, bird sipping water. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Reach your knuckles up and away from your tailbone. Start to lift your heels up as high as you can. Find one stable point to focus on. Use your core strength, your inner thigh strength here. Start to find tiny pulses up and down. Not here for very long. Here for six. Last four. Three, two, one. Release only your heels, keep the bind. On your inhale, pull your heart space forward, gaze up. With your bind, exhale, forward fold. Gently release, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, top of your mat. So legs are starting to get nice and warm. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Get really grounded into your right supporting heel. On your exhale, airplane your arms. Lift your left heel to your left glute flamingo pose. So as you sweep your arms toward the back of the room, keep your hips in line with one another. You notice you lowered your left hip, lift it back up so it realigns with your right. Get really grounded into your supporting heel. Holding for the exhale. On your inhale, lift your left leg up to half step. Straighten through your right leg. Bring your left thigh parallel down toward the floor. Lengthen from your waist up, rotate your pinkies inward, deep inhale. Exhale, full airplane pose. Body and leg move as one. Kick your left heel toward the back of the room. Hang your torso forward. Square off your hips. Pull your right thigh away from your right knee. One more deep breath in. Deep exhale out. Big transition here. Crescent knee on your inhale. Plant your left toes down, then drop down to your left knees and your fingertips up nice and high. You're welcome to come in and out of your hip a little bit. Make this feel good. Then slowly start to settle in. Really feel the stretch in the front of your left hip. Knee stays directly in line with your middle toes. 
Deep breath in. Exhale, lift it back in. Just like you did in your sun A, cactus your arms, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Drawing your tailbone down is what will anchor you here. Holding for the exhale. Inhale, rise back up to crescent moon. Tuck your back toes under, exhale, low flying lunge. Re-engage your back leg as you sweep your arms toward the back of the room. Straight line from your back heel out through the crown of your head. Now lifting your right hip up and back so it realigns with your left. Then sit a little bit lower into your legs. Inhale, open up warrior two. Left heel meets your mat. Deep bend into your right knee. Chew out your arms, gaze past your right fingertips. Really press the knife edge of your back foot. Deep inhale. Exhale, extended side angle. Hinge your torso forward. Tick tock your arms at 12 and 6 o'clock. Lengthen equally through both side bodies, especially for your right. Then gaze up and under your left arm. Slide your left shoulder away from your left ear. Legs stay the same. Inhale, reverse warrior. Little to no weight in your back hand. Always option for a half bind. But now feel an opening lengthening alongside your right side body as you sit an inch lower. Deep inhale to prepare. Exhale, chaturanga. Option for echo paddle, floating your right leg. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, top of your mat. Inhale, halfway left. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose, sit nice and low. Now get really grounded into your left heel. On your exhale, airplane your arms, will make no pose. Start to draw your right heel up to your right glute. Really use your hamstring to find that curl here. Lifting your right hip up, knitting your rib cage in. Pinkies lift up a little bit higher, holding for the exhale. Inhale, half stack. Ground down for your left leg. Pull your right thigh up and through. Really flex to your right toes, deep inhale. Exhale, full airplane pose. Move nice and slow. Focus on the control and the resistance here. Creating that uppercase T. Pull your inner thigh up toward the ceiling. Chin away from your chest, deep inhale. Exhale out. Crescent moon on your inhale. Deep bend into your left knee, plant your right toes down, drop down onto your right knee. Send your fingertips up nice and high. Get grounded into your legs. Maybe taking a couple in and outs. Then slowly start to settle in. Draw your tailbone down. Pull your belly button into your spine. Lengthen up through the crown of your head, deep inhale. Exhale, lift your back bend. Cactus your arms, create that shelf for your heart. Lengthen through the back line of your neck. Holding for the exhale. Inhale, crescent move. Exhale, low flying lunge. Re-engage to your right leg. Hinge your torso forward. Keeping that sharp 45 degree angle in your torso. Create that scissoring sensation in your inner thigh. So it's like your left thigh is sliding backwards. Right thigh is sliding forward. So a little bit lower. Inhale, open up warrior two. Right heel meets your mat. Deep bend into your left knee. Create that box with your hips, your shoulders. Open toward the side. Press your shoulders down your back. Deep inhale. Exhale, extend inside. Left elbow reaches for the inside of your left knee or thigh. Right fingertips reach up. Find that opposition. Lengthen through your side bodies. Chin away from your chest. Legs stay exactly the same. Inhale, reverse warrior. Find the hand variation that works for you. Think of this posture as a side bend rather than a back bend. Deep inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Deep exhale out. Preparing to flow through two times breath to movement. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, flamingo on your left. Inhale, left leg half step. Exhale, full airplane. Inhale, crescent moon, move nice and slow. Exhale, lifted back bend. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, low flying lunge. Inhale, open up warrior two. Exhale, extended side. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. 
Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, flamingo right. Inhale, lift your right leg house down. Exhale, full airplane. Stay with your breath. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, lifted back bend. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, low flying lunge. Exhale, extended side. Inhale, reverse warrior. One more. This time, really focus on your heart space. Notice where you can open up. Meaning in downward facing dog. On 40 minutes. Distance. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, left leg flamingo. Inhale, left leg half staff. Exhale, full airplane. Crescent moon, deep breath in. Exhale, lift your back bend. Inhale, crescent. Sit lower, exhale, low flying lunge. Pinkies lift up higher. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extend inside. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, chaturanga, one more side to go. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, travel forward. Inhale, half left. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair. Exhale, right leg flamingo. Inhale, lift your right leg, half step. Exhale, full airplane, really lengthen here. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, lifted back bend. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, low flying lunge. Inhale, open up to warrior two. Exhale, extended side. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Deep exhale out. Now take a deep breath in. On your exhale, hinge forward to a high plank position for a little bit of belly down core. Bring your right knee to your right tricep, hinge forward onto your left toes, back to a high plank. Left knee, left tricep, hinge forward, back to a high plank. So really find the connection with both your elbow and your knee using your obliques. Hinging forward onto your toes is gonna work a little bit more into your lower belly. Really be mindful to push your mat away. Maybe take those deep breaths in through your nose, deep exhales out through your mouth. Really strong from what I can see. Final six. Here for four, three, two, one. Make your way to a downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale out. One more time, deep breath in, heels lift up nice and high. Exhale, ground your heels even deeper down into the floor. Let's start to add on to our float. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step or float, top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, lift your left leg flamingo pose. Listen for the changes. On your inhale, low flyer. Pull your hands to heart center. Keep the deep bend into your right knee. All you're doing is extending your left leg toward the back of the room. So it sort of looks like airplane pose, just hands and heart and deep bend into your supporting leg. Knit your rib cage in, squeeze your shoulder blades together, glue your palms together, don't forget to breathe. One more deep breath in. Exhale out. And inhale to prepare, get grounded in your supporting leg, exhale full airplane pose. Straighten through your right legs and your fingertips toward the back of the room. You can always keep a micro bend in your supporting knee if that feels better. 
Engage your core, squeeze your shoulder blades. Last exhale out. Crescent lunge on your inhale. Plant your left toes down, deep bend into your right knee. Set your fingertips up nice and high. So it looks exactly like crescent moving your back legs just engaged. So really pull your left thigh away from your left knee. Draw your tailbone down. Deep inhale. Exhale, lifted back bend, same sensation. Lengthen through the back line of your neck. Gaze up toward the ceiling. Make your rib in. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, warrior two, adjust your stance as needed. Inhale, rise to start. Toes face out, heels face in. Exhale, force pose it nice and low. Tiny pulses up and down. So every time you pulse it a little bit lower, find that external rotation, nice. Thighs lift up, rotate back. Weights on the outside edges of your feet. Pull your heart space forward. Maybe release your tongue from the roof of your mouth. Sit a little bit lower. Final four. Three, two, one, inhale, rise to start. Front of your mat, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, scorpion your right leg. Send your right leg up and back. Stack your hips, bend through your right knee. Shoulders are still squared on toward the floor. You have the option to stay here or on your exhale, flip your dog. Plant both heels flat down into the floor. Reach your fingertips forward, chin away from your chest. Feel an opening alongside the front line of your body. Push your mat away. Final exhale. Inhale, spiral back to three-legged dog. Exhale, down dog. Deep inhale. Exhale out. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, top of your mat. Inhale, halfway left. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. So just as low as you do on the other side. Exhale, right leg flamingo pose. On your inhale, low flyer. Send your right leg back. Deep bend in your supporting leg. Hands come to heart. So here, draw your chest to your thumbs, your chin away from your chest. Roll your shoulders away from your ears. Keep your hips in line with one another. We practice that a lot with our chair pose. This is where it comes in handy. Deep inhale to prepare. Exhale, full airplane. Stand for your supporting leg. You can always keep that micro bend. Full body engagement. If you fall, that's okay. Come right back in. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Crescent lunge is your release. Gently plant your right toes down. Send your fingertips up nice and high. Activate through your inner thighs. Deep inhale. Exhale, lift it back bend. See if you can sink a little bit deeper in your front knee. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, warrior two, adjust your stance as needed. Inhale, rise to start. Toes face up, elbows face in. Exhale, goddess pose, sit low. Elbows by your side bodies, palms face up. Heels float off of your mat. Tiny pulses up and down. Keep your core nice and strong. Breath is super engaged. Find that external rotation. Good. Last six. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, rise to start. Front of your mat, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, scorpion your left leg. Stack your hips, bend through your left knee. Shoulders stay square down. Option to stay here or flip your dog. Plant both feet down. Reach your fingertips up and back. Press in the whole L shape with your palm. Create that heart space by squeezing your shoulder blades together. Last exhale. Inhale, three legged dogs in your left leg up and back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take three breaths here, three deep breaths in and out of your nose. You know I love to flow, so we're gonna flow through that one time breath to movement, moving nice and slow to hold for all of those balancing postures. Deep inhale. Exhale out. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, travel forward. Inhale, halfway left. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair. Exhale, left leg flamingo. Inhale, low flyer. Exhale, airplane. Inhale, crescent lunge. 
Exhale, lifted back bend. How can you open up here? Inhale, press in. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, horse. Inhale, start. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, low lunge. Skipping the flip dog. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair. Exhale, right leg flamingo. Inhale, low flyer. Exhale, full airplane. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, lifted. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale to start. Exhale, goddess. Inhale, start. Exhale, warrior. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Deep exhale out. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step or float top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Perfect. Deep breath in. On your exhale, sit a little bit lower. Good, another deep breath in. Exhale, sit a little bit lower. Good, deep breath in. Now on your exhale, lower all the way down to boat pose Navasana without using your hands. So really engage your core. Nice. Keep your legs lifted or they can stay planted, but fingertips reach straight out in front of you. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch our music to Silence by Khalid. It'll be our core song. Now you're welcome to keep your arms straight out in front of you or you can plant them behind you for a little bit more support. But on your inhale, lower down to lower boat. Exhale, pull back up to boat pose. Nice, inhale to lower, exhale to lift. Lower and lift. So for your core series, take deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth. Looking really strong, really great. Four counts, lower all the way down. Three, two, one, it's a basic crunch. Lifting and lowering, lifting and lowering. Legs can stay planted or you can bring them up to reverse warrior. But I want you to keep your elbows out nice and wide so you can't see them in your peripheral vision. Keep your legs super engaged. Feel free to turn your music up if you would like. Six counts, stay lifted, full shoulder blades hovering. Four, three, two, one. Stay lifted, reach your fingertips forward and begin to pulse. So fingertips reach forward, chin and chest lift straight up toward the ceiling. Check back in with your legs, make sure they're still super engaged. The entire time your shoulder blades are floating. Eight counts, you head to yogi bicycle sit-ups. Final six. Four, three, two, one, bicycles. Exhale to twist, and inhale to pull back through center. Twist and center. You're welcome to take this as fast or as slow as you would like to go. It's an elbow to knee connection rather than knee to elbow. Either really point or really flex to your feet. Six counts, hold on the right hand side. Four, three, two, one. Hold here, send your left leg up toward the ceiling and then back down. Lift and lower. Exhale to lift, inhale to lower down. Six counts, then you switch to the other side. Four, three, two, one. Other side, right leg lifts and then lower. Lifts and lower. Think of that bird dog you took in the beginning of the class. Keep that elbow to knee connection. Final six. Four, three, two, one. Yogi bicycles, exhale the twist, and inhale the pull back through center. Final set. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pull your knees into your chest. Rock and roll the full length of your spine. It's a forearm plank. Elbows directly underneath your shoulders. Send your fingertips toward the back of the room. It's a 45 second static hold. All right, your 45 seconds starts now. 
Now you're welcome to stay in stillness. If you want some movement, you can find hip dips side to side. This will get into your obliques. If you wanna work into your lower belly, hinge forward, then hinge back onto your toes. All right, 30 seconds left. Push your mat away, lift up and out of your shoulders. Use your breath. Really strong, chin away from your chest. Final 15 seconds, you're almost there. Knit your rib cage in, pull your belly button into your spine. You're welcome to find a different variation if you would like. Last 10. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Gently lower down, relax. Nice job, grab some water towel off. How are you feeling so far? Good, awesome. So I'm just letting my playlist play out. You have about four breaths and meet in downward facing dog. Gently meet me back in your down dog here in three, two, one. Downward facing dog. Reconnect with your Ujjayi breath. So strong breath in through your nose. Strong exhale out through your nose. All right, let's start to add on. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Listen closely here. Exhale, tiger pose. So start to hinge your torso forward. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Now lift it back in sensation. Gaze forward and start to spine a scorpion leg. So really push your mat away. Everything is super engaged. Last exhale. And hold back to your three-legged dog. Push back, exhale, knee to nose. Draw your knee into your chest. Round through your spine, push your mat away. Take a deep breath in. On your exhale, low lunge. Swing your right leg in between. Standing splits on your inhale. Shift forward into your right leg. Send your left leg up nice and high. Hands can rest down onto the floor. You can use a water bottle or something for more support or you can pull your hands to heart center. But get really grounded into your supporting heel. Lift your left heel up an inch higher, deep inhale. Exhale, flamingo pose, deep bend into your right knee. Squeeze your left knee directly behind your left, flatten out through your spine. On your inhale, warrior one. Bend your left heel back. Send your fingertips up nice and high. Draw your right hip back so it realigns with your left. Then draw your tailbone down. Find a tricep stretch, palms come together. Bend through your elbows, thumbs come to the back of your neck. Start to find a lifted back bend sensation. Sink a little bit deeper into your right knee. Really ground down through the pinky edge of your left foot. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, pyramid poses your release. Straighten through your right leg, tent your fingertips alongside your right foot. Now bend your right knee as much as you need to find a forehead to knee connection. Feeling a tight constriction in the back of your throat is perfect. That's what you should feel in this posture. About two more breaths. On your inhale, gently rise back up to warrior one. Adjust your stance as needed, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten through your right legs and your right fingertips up and back. Exhale, triangle pose. Shift your hips back, hinge your torso forward, then tick tock your arms at 12 and 6 o'clock. Take your left hand, reach around by your half bind. Grab for the inside of your right hip. Right arm can stay down, or you can begin to extend it forward. So bicep hug your ear, hugs your ear. Super important, if you notice that your rib cage is flaring out, knit your rib cage in, pull your belly button into your spine, then really pull your tailbone toward the back of your mat. Good, see if you can hinge your torso down a little bit more so your side bodies are parallel to your mat. Last exhale. Inhale, reverse warrior. Deep bend into your right knee. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, rise and start, toes face up, heels face in. Arms out to a T. Parallel slight pigeon toe in your feet. Inhale, find a slight chest expansion. Exhale, forward fold, cross arena. Good, and take about four breaths to yourself. So whatever feels good. Maybe that's some organic movement. Doesn't have to be anything specific. 
But wherever you are, see if you can really relax through your head, your neck, your shoulders. And if you're in the prasarita position rather than an inversion, really shift your weight forward into the ball mounds of your feet. Might feel like you're gonna topple over, but I promise your hamstrings won't let that happen. Nice headstand. Then gently make your way back down. Inhale, halfway lift. Front of your mat, exhale, low lunge to runner's lunge. Toe by your right foot to the outside edge of your mat. Drop down onto your left knee, untap your left toes. You can stay on your palms, drop down onto your forearms. If you would like a quad stretch, deep bend into your left knee. With your right hand, reach around grab for the inside arch of your left foot. Then spiral your chest up toward the ceiling and drop your left ear to your left shoulder. You have three breaths here. And be mindful that your knee stays in line with your middle toes. Protect your knee joint. After your third exhale, gently begin to re return back to your low lunge position. Pull your palms down into the floor. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, down bow. Inhale. Exhale, out. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, tiger pose. Really glue your palms down onto the floor. Start to stack your joints, so shoulder over wrist. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, finding that lifted back bend sensation and squirting in your leg. Really take a deep bend into your left knee. Hold for the exhale. Inhale, three-legged dog, push back. Exhale, knee to nose, round through your spine. Use your lower belly here, draw your knee into your chest. Tuck your chin into your chest, deep inhale. Exhale, low lunge, land heel, then toe. Standing splits on your inhale, shift forward. Send your right leg down nice and high. Find the hand variation that works for you, but stay really grounded into your supporting heel. Rotate your inner thigh up toward the ceiling. Deep inhale. Exhale, flamingo pose. Knees come next to each other. Flatten out through your spine. Warrior one on your inhale. Send your right leg back. Bend your right heel down. Fingertips up nice and high. Tricep stretch. Palms come to touch. Bend through your elbows. Gaze up at the ceiling. Sink a little bit deeper into your left knee. Drawing your tailbone down will anchor you here. And then draw your chin away from your chest. One more deep inhale. Exhale, pyramid pose. Fingertips tense alongside your left foot. Bend your left knee as much as you need to find that forehead to knee connection. One side might feel more open than the other and that's totally normal, totally okay. Use this space to just recognize the difference between right and left. One more breath. On your inhale, gently rise back up to warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten through your left leg. Send your left fingertips up and back. Hips are in line with one another. Stay really grounded into your back foot. Exhale, triangle pose. Shift your hips back, hinge your torso forward. Tick tock your arms, straight up and down. Side bodies are parallel down toward one another. Take your right hand, find the half bind, wrap the inside arch of your left foot. Left hand can stay where it's at, or you can begin to extend it forward. Bicep hugs your ears. Draw your tailbone down back, knit your rib cage in. Really think about lengthening here, lifting rather than sinking into your hips. Last exhale. Reverse warrior two, deep breath in. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, rise to start. Exhale, arms up to a T. Parallel slight pigeon toe in your feet, interlace your fingers behind your back. Deep breath in, find a slight chest expansion. Exhale, forward fold, bound cross the Once again, you have about four breaths here. Take what feels good to you. Nice headstand. Gently wherever you are, make your way back to center. Inhale, halfway lift. 
Exhale, low lunge, transition to runner's lunge. Toe for your left foot to the outside edge of your mat. Drop down onto your right knee, untuck your right toe. Find the arm variation that feels good to you. Back quad stretch with your left hand, grab onto your right foot. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, then drop your right ear down to your right shoulder. Two more breaths. And gently rise back up to your low lunge position with a deep exhale out. Three legged dog, deep inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more deep breath in. Deep exhale. Final balancing posture, inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, airplane your arms. On your inhale, lift your right leg up to half stack, preparing for a mermaid pose on the right hand side. On your exhale, right hand grabs for the inside arch of your right foot, then gently begin to kick. So if you feel comfortable here, you're welcome to start to hook both your elbow and your foot together. Then finding that tricep stretch, grab hands, and begin to kick even harder. You can always find regular dancers if that feels better. But remember to breathe here. Your body is super warm for this. Perfect. Final four. Three, two, one. Inhale, rise in mountain pose. Exhale, chair plank. Get grounded into your right foot. Inhale, lift your left leg half step. Exhale, mermaid on the left. With your left hand, grab the inside arch of your foot. Begin to kick. You're welcome to find, stay here or find the hook with both your elbow and your foot. Then reach around with that half tricep stretch. Begin to kick even harder. Really feel your heart space reaching forward. The stretch in your quad, the stretch in your hips. Stay really stable in your supporting leg. Beautiful here for four. Three, two, one. Mountain pose, take a deep breath in. Forward fold, take a deep exhale out. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, final chaturanga. You're welcome to take it or leave it. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. So you're gonna cool down. Inhale, lift your right leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, half pigeon. Right knee, right ankle to the insides of your wrist creases. Let your left leg go out nice and long. Take a deep breath and sit up super tall. On your exhale, begin to surrender forward. See if you can really pull your right hip up. And that'll give you a space to sink a little bit deeper rather than rolling onto your right outer hip. If you feel comfortable in your half pigeon, you're more than welcome to stay here. Or guess where we're going. Mermaid variation, your half pigeon. Begin to lift your torso up. Deep bend into your left knee. Just like you did standing with your left hand, grab the inside arch of your left foot. You're welcome to stay here. Otherwise, start to hook your elbow and your foot together. Then reach your right fingertips up and back, grab hands. It's just three breaths. Really use that lifted back bend sensation. After your third exhale, gently begin to release and rise. Re-engage to your back leg and toes. Send your right leg up and back. Take whatever feels good here. If you want to flip your dog, find wild thing. Find little hip circles, it's up to you. And then gently on your exhale, return back to downward facing dog. Other side, inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, half pigeon. 
Left knee, left ankle, take the insides of your wrist creases. Let your right leg go out nice and long. Deep breath in, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, surrender forward. So once again, rolling, rather than rolling onto your left hip, pull your left hip up, get more grounded, get more situated. My left side is way tighter than my right hand side. If you have one side that's tighter too, just breathe into it. Half pigeons, feel free to stay. Mermaid variations start slowly start to rise. Deep bend into your right knee, grab to the inside arch of your right foot. You want to find the hook and the tricep stretch, you're more than welcome to. Chin away from your chest. Let me blink your eyes closed. Then gently release. Re-engage your right leg and toes. And now send your left leg back and then up. Take whatever feels good here. You happen to flip your dog or find wild thing on the other side, do so as well here. And then gently exhale back to your down dog. Deep breath in. On your exhale, hinge forward to your high plank position. Hinge forward onto your toes. Now with control, exhale, lower all the way down onto your mat. Chest touching before your belly. Untuck your toes, zip your legs together. Tend your fingertips underneath your shoulders. Inhale, cobra pose. Start to lift your torso. Squeeze your shoulder blade together. Ground the tops of your feet down onto the floor. The more you engage your legs, the more space you have to lift up higher you can have. Exhale, lower down. Up here comes to your mat, gaze right. Let your arms go out long, blink your eyes closed. And gently pull your chin back through center. Take a deep bend into your knees. Grab for the outside edges of your feet. Deep exhale out. Inhale, floor bow, gently begin to kick. Good, squeeze your shoulder blades together, chin away from your chest, kick as hard as you can. Roll onto the soft part of your belly, you're here for three. Two, one, exhale, lower down, gaze goes out the opposite way. Maybe feel your heartbeat down into your mat. Pull your chin back through center, press up through tabletop to a seat. Extend your legs straight out in front of you. Flex your toes toward your face, reach your fingertips straight up toward the ceiling, take a deep breath in. Exhale, seated forward fold. Grab for the outside edges of your feet. Bend through your elbows, bend through your knees as much as you need. Finding a belly to thigh compression. Stay mindful about lengthening alongside the front and back lines of your bodies. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, deepest forward fold of all class. And gently inhale, roll up through your spine. Scooch forward about two inches onto your mat and roll all the way down onto your back spine, happy baby. Grab for either the inside or the outside edges of your feet. Press your knees alongside your side bodies. You can rock and roll side to side. Then pull your knees into your chest. Send your arms out to either a T or a cactus. Take a deep breath in. On your exhale, drop your knees to the left hand side, gaze goes out right. Knees can hover, totally okay. Shoulder blades stay grounded onto your mat to protect your spine. I invite you to blink your eyes closed for the last few minutes of class. Using your core strength, gently draw your knees back through center to reset, realign your spine. Exhale, opposite way. Drop your knees to the right, gaze goes out left, supine twist. Just a couple breaths here. Then 
and gently pull your knees into your chest. Wrap your arms around your shins, pull your forehead up to your knees. Take a full body engagement in the deepest breath in. Exhale, Shavasana, let your whole body go out long. Just about a minute or two. Allow yourself to be present, get grounded. Go of anything you're holding on to. Just take this time, this space solely for yourself. Yogi, stay still. You're welcome to stay here for however long you'd like. But if you're ready to move on with me in the rest of your Monday, keeping your eyes closed, gently just start to invite some movement back into your body. Maybe that's your fingertips, your toes, or a gentle rock of your head side to side on your mat. You can send your fingertips toward the back of your mat, letting your whole body go out long as though you're waking up for the first time today. And then roll over onto the side that feels heavier for fetal position. Use your bicep as a pillow and let your mat and the ground support you. You also have the option to stay here. But if you're ready to move on with me, keeping your eyes closed, gently press yourself up into a comfortable seated position. Meeting with your hands at heart center to connect your right and your left hand sides and then sit up nice and tall. Together as a class, take a deep breath in through your nose as you shrug your shoulders up to your ears. And then take a deep exhale out as you roll your shoulders down your back. One more time, deep breath in, shrug your shoulders. Deep exhale out, roll your shoulders down your back. Gently bring your thumbs to your lips to always speak kind words. And then bring your thumbs to your third eye center to always think positive thoughts. Thank you for practicing with me this morning. Really amazing job. And help me bow forward. Namaste.